Okay, ready to go. My district, Berlin-Kreuzberg, is covered in snow. After icy chaos last winter, the city authorities promised improvement. But the situation's worse, if anything. I can even ski on the street here. The catch is I haven't done this for ages and I need some practice out of harm's way. Tempelhof Park, which used to be an airport, is just around the corner. I'm not the only one with this idea. The vast white landscape is scattered with cross-country skiers. Lots of Berliners have gone out and bought skis over the past week or two. I've heard they've now sold out. Maybe that's why these people are jogging. A friend has come to help me brush up my technique. He loves coming here. He says he finds it amusing to go skiing with views of the city and the autobahn. <laughs> I tell him it's 20 years since I was last on cross-country skis, and although I sort of know what I'm doing, I'd be grateful for a few pointers. Okay, so... <laughs> Atomic, that's the brand of my skis. He jokes that they're automatic and will go by themselves. He calls out instructions, telling me to lean forward, bend my knees, put some swing into it, so I'll be faster and smoother. Kick and glide, he says. Kräftiger abstoßen. Also mehr gliden, ne? Merkt das? Toll, ja. Und da kommt's auch schnell vorwärts. I start to get into the rhythm of it. Kick and glide. It feels good. I'll worry about looking elegant later. Now it's high time to set off for work. But just a block away, the real fun starts. The footpaths are covered in gravel, which is no good at all for skiing on. I think the woman who's been skiing into work must live in the countryside. Boy, that's tiring. She on, she off, she on, she off. The grit stops people from slipping. But if this starts to thaw and then freezes over again, it could be treacherous. Still, I've made it to the center of town, Berlin Mitte. I'm going to pop in and buy a couple of things and see how people react. Two women from customer service come and offer to look after my skis while I'm shopping. There's a room where they can be stored. Perhaps it's because I'm here with the TV camera that they're being so helpful. Normal skiers would probably have to carry their skis to the storage room themselves. As an inner city skier, I find myself the center of attention everywhere I go. The first snow this year started at the end of November. Since then, the authorities just haven't been able to keep up with clearing the snow. It's caused havoc with traffic, with the commuter railway and the underground. But here, on the main tourist track, where the posh shops are, the streets and footpaths are amazingly clear. It 
It's very different from Kreuzberg where I live and bad for my skiing adventure. <laughs> this man's from Switzerland. He tells me if this keeps up, there'll be no need to go to the mountains for winter sports. I realize skis just aren't an effective form of transport in this part of town, and I start to feel a bit self-conscious. I concede and decide to take a bus to where there's more snow. <laughs> At the Parliament buildings, the Reichstag, there's snow about 20 centimetres deep. Perfect skiing conditions. Here too, the tourists stare. <laughs> You're from Rome or? Turin. 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 Ah, okay. Yeah, so. yeah. But I have a sister living uh, in Rome. So you know before? No, we yeah, yeah, no, no. Big surprise for us. We didn't uh, realize that uh, <laughs> this was snow. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, we, we thought that, okay, some snow was uh, expected, but not like this. No, not like this. <laughs> <laughs> not finding someone like you close the Bundestag and mm -hmm. with a uh, ski. <laughs> And you like the winter or it's no, you know, we prefer, prefer uh, summer, summer uh, season. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, bye bye. 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 Ciao. 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 There are some great areas for skiing in Berlin, like here along the banks of the Spree. I have quite a scenic tour before I head up into the district of Wedding. That's where DWTV has its headquarters. I've reached my goal. Well, that was a hard job, but also fun. I've made it, just when it's time to go home.